When replacing the fuel injector on several different models of the Duramax engine, such as the LBZ in this 2006 Chevy truck, we need to program the injector flow rates, or the IQA as it may be referred to, with this injector. So if we take a look at our injector here, we can see the number that I'm going to program into the scan tool. And so this number is actually stored in the glow plug control module as well as in the engine control module. So I'm using a modus ultra here. And the screen says if the number on the injector consists of fewer than 16 digits, make sure to add the additional zeros since the total number of characters must equal 16. So some injectors will have 12 numbers, some will have 13. We just have to follow it out with a bunch of zeros. So I'm going to select continue. Then I'm going to select the injector that we're replacing, which is number eight. And so I'm going to select the number there. This one actually has all zeros in it for some reason. I'm not sure what was going on here. So I'm going to enter two, E as in Edward, five, one, A, then zero. Then I have a C as in Charlie, and then all zeros. So I can either hit zero or just keep hitting enter until I get all the way to the end of my 16th digit. Now my number displayed there, the one I typed in, and it says, well, now I'm gonna select OK. So as I select OK, it's gonna ask me to confirm the number. So I look at it again here, and we see that I've got this actual number. I'm gonna hit continue. It's gonna, once again, do you wanna program this flow rate? I'll hit program. Injector flow rate programming is, was successful. Do you need to program another injector? So on this truck, we're actually just doing the one, so I can hit no. And I actually, uh, actually found this information by going to special outputs under the engine. We can also find it in the glow plug control module because that information is stored in both of them. It does also give you the opportunity to cut and paste depending on if you've replaced one module or the other here. So there is one important note here. It says the ECM and the glow plug control module must be allowed to completely power down after programming is complete. Turn the ignition off and disconnect the scan tool for two minutes. After two minutes, you may confirm the ECM and GPCM injector flow rate values by selecting display injector flow rates. So I'll exit out and it's that simple. Hopefully now you understand what it takes to replace the injector flow rate or the IQA, depending on what you're gonna call it, on one of these Duramax engines using a snap-on modus scan tool.